Hello everyone, welcome back to Basic Photoshop Tutorials. Uh, this episode we're going to show you how to make custom brushes and custom uh, shapes. You'll notice right here I have a PS3 controller already in Photoshop. Uh, I just took this from the internet. Nothing special, just a simple image that I, that I copy and pasted in. And now um, there's an easy way to make brushes and that's just by having your, this this layer selected, the uh, the image layer selected, go to Edit define brush preset and then you can go ahead and name that brush in this case it's ps3 and that's what I'm going to name it and now we have a brush and if you go to your brush uh, tools you'll notice that the last one here I'm gonna make this a little bigger for you the last one here on my screen is now the ps3 brush it's simply the JPEG that I've defined okay so I'm gonna select that and you'll notice right away that I'm able to if I create a new layer here I'm able to just put this brush anywhere I want as many times as I want and again there's a million options you can change with that uh, you could do some crazy stuff with that so I'm just gonna back out of that so I can get back to my original brush there we go. my original uh, PS3 controller so now that you know how to create brushes that's the easiest part what we're gonna do is create custom shapes again it's really easy as well uh, you'll notice online there's a ton of custom shapes you can get and what I mean by custom shapes is if you go to your options down here on the left side you go to the usually it's a rectangle tool go down to your custom shape tool and right up here you'll see that you can choose from a wide range of uh, wide array of custom shapes and again I have quite a few in there not that many though um, and but what you can do is you can make your own custom shapes so with this PS controller PS3 controller on your screen what you're gonna do is grab the pen tool and it doesn't matter you could do shape or uh, path layer but in this case we're gonna use the path, uh, shape layer and we're just gonna draw around the edge of that that PS3 controller just like you would cut out something or if you're just gonna go ahead and draw around the edge of it I'm not gonna do crazy job here because I've already done it before and now it's gonna open it up so that's that's what you'll you'll end up with is if you get a whole uh, from start to finish following the outline of that uh, PS3 controller but you now you'll notice I've only done it in half uh, and the reason for that is because if I do it in half and then uh, copy that image and flip it I'm able to get the exact same shape on the other side it saves you drawing and it still looks uniform um, but in this case we're, we're gonna leave it like uh, just in a half here and I'm just gonna show you as what it would look like as a half there we are and what we're gonna do is with this layer selected just left click on the gray um, box beside your shape layer and you'll see a white border around that box that means that's selected and what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to edit and you're gonna go to define custom shape now if I don't have that box selected and I just select the layer if I go to edit you'll notice define custom shape is grayed out I'm unable to use it so again left click on that box define custom shape and again it's going to give you the option to name it and we're going to name it ps3 and hit ok now our custom shape is defined go to your custom shapes like we did before navigate down to the bottom of it wherever it would be uh, I'm going to make this a little smaller so we can see it there it is right there just select it and it's, you'll notice it says ps3 and now you're able to draw that custom shape and if you hold shift it keeps the contour and the continuity sorry and there we go so we can draw that out and what I said earlier I'm just gonna back that out create a new layer and draw it and what I said earlier is when we have that selected and we only have half of it we can edit or sorry we can control J on that layer which copies it and then you go to edit transform path and flip horizontal and then just line it up with the where it starts on the other side and there you go now you have your PS3 controller and you can easily resize that without losing any of the uh, without losing any of the um, you know without making it blurry so we won't lose any of the continuity as well and again it's it's easy to do and it's it's uh, quite effective you can make as many shapes as you want in any shape you want so that is this this week's tutorial uh, I hopefully uh, we having a lot more for you guys I'm getting a little more time to do these things now um, but for now we're gonna leave it there uh, make sure you rate subscribe and comment and again if you have any questions or concerns let me know